Hello everybody, welcome back to another episode of An Early Reich as Prussia in European University Alice 4. Now, we've been at war for two episodes. Roughly gonna be ten years. Oh, we're seven years right now. Um, it's been one hell of a war. We've pieced out some people. Some people have been pieced out on us. And um, we are just waiting at this point. Um, this war is won. Our, the war is in our favor. Um, we have about the same amount of cannons, or the same amount of cavalry, but we have three times our amount of cannons and a good amount more infantry, although they have been working up heavily to keep up with us. Um, if I could get Spain or the Netherlands out of this war, that'd be really good. Um, Riga might want out. Trier probably does, but I don't want to give it up because they have a lot of score. And Madenberg keeps wanting out. They're worth more to me in the war than out. They don't have that many more troops. Let's come around. Probably going to be... We're just going to have to keep fighting them over and over and over again. And that's going to be annoying, but it makes sense, in a sense. You're just going to have to weaken their relative strength. They think they can continue to win this war. I just need to show them, no, no, you can't. We're just going to kill all your freaking troops. Little by little, until there's literally nothing left for you to bring up. Yeah, they're moving in. Can I get there? Do I want to get there? Um, I should because I have reinforcements coming behind us. So, yeah. I really helped out there. And now we have allies in here. Funny part is they broke a siege to take care of that, which was ridiculous. I will probably throw my leader up here. Just to bring more cannons into this. Um. Oh god, I'm going to have to go through their troops? No. That's not happening. Guys, let's stay here so we can get the war score, guys. Come on. <sighs> okay. That's fine. Burgundy doesn't want out yet. But them getting out would help out. Maybe not significantly, but it would help out. Okay, five more points. Come on. Palinate military strength plus one. You don't have any troops, bro. Um, You. Almost out of this war. If you can get that, that'd be great. If they quit coming over here, that would also be great. No, Maddenberg. I'm just going to have to deal with the fact that you're going to be at war with us for the rest of the game. At this rate. I just want to get out of this 30 years war. But I want the empire to be Protestant. Is that so bad? Probably is. Well, France is dealing with the damn. Ligian separatists. They're French anyway so. Oh goodness. We have no manpower. Well luckily we are recovering manpower. So we haven't lost any more. At least significant amounts. Since the beginning of the war. And the last episode was just a lot of. Oh we're going to walk here. We're going to walk there. We're going to walk here. Okay. Burgundy, you want out. Goodbye, Burgundy. Be free. Okay. We need war score. So let's get in battles where we can get into. And we don't actually want to fight anyone, but... We want to take provinces that cause people to want to peace out. Or we want to cause people to peace out. Okay. We're done. Protestant has become the official faith of the Holy Roman Empire with the Religious League. Casas Bali, we have suffered zero aggressive expansion penalty. A total of 37.5 prestige will be divided between Prussia and its allies. 16.4 to Prussia. Panic gets minus 37.5. Bavaria is the new emperor. The Evangelical Union was victorious. I should have probably read that because I don't ever really get to read that. Well, let's send our troops to Rapun and let's deal with the damn coalition that might actually declare on us. Um, Bohemia was able to join because they're a little shit. We now have Protestant Empire, which gives us all bonuses, I believe. And it's time to recover. Triggered modifier. No, triggered modifiers. Protestant Empire, missionary strength plus one. Constant troop place plus one. Yearly prestige. Yearly legitimacy plus 0.25. And imperial authority increase plus 25%. Bavaria's announced this as a rival, and people are joining the coalition. 
Now is not the time to be fighting a coalition war. Let's get to Berlin. Let's get you back to protecting trade in the Baltic. And you all can come and sit in Rostock and repair. And just sit there, I guess. Okay, you're going to Berlin. We're going to need to shift consolidate a lot of you down. But I'm not going to get rid of any troops right now. Or probably ever. Let's split half of you up to Gresvelin. Only one thousand cavalry there. Okay, well that's fine. That means most of this stack should repair first, right? Nope, because that's not how this game works. This game annoys me with that. I want you to know that. Okay. And this is not much better. Let's pull off the unhealthy units. Join them with this army. Shift consolidate down. Pull off the healthy units. Send them over to this army. And now it's time to recover. So we got a lot of time left. I will probably ask for additional manpower from the nobility. Um, I will seek support of the clergies. Um, so I can get some more money coming in. I will grant you monopoly charters. And I would call the D it, but that'll piss you off way too much. And it's going to be a while before I can get rid of you, so we're just going to have to wait. Okay, we are recovering, so that's good news. Um, let's continue to pull off healthy units. And we are going to have to repair, and that's going to be an issue, but currently at least we're on the list, so we're the top 15 in the world right now, but it's going to take us a while to repair up to max, so. And a lot of people are going to have to repair, including our allies, so, including our enemies, but um, we don't want to call the coalition on us right now. And a lot of these guys are going to be pissy for a long time against us, so we might have an issue. Doing that was probably not worth it, but... We're going to attempt it like it was. Um, we're going to keep pulling off units. If we need to merc up, we can. We didn't take any loans during the whole war. Um, I know some people probably did, like you. Um, you've managed to reclaim your territory, which is annoying. I'm going to cancel my mission, by the way, because I really don't want to have an extra claim on you. Um, and Bavaria is the emperor, which is stupid. Um, I should be emperor. Honestly. But they're voting for frickin' Bohemia like an idiot. Us doing this, not the best idea. But, you know, it's fine. I didn't want the um, other possibility, that the fact that it became a Catholic empire, to occur. So this, I think, was worth it. Plus, it helps us out in a little bit in the long run. Um, if we can attack Bohemia, we could probably get rid of them. And getting stronger is going to be a very interesting issue. Um, we are almost out of manpower again, but at least we've been able to recover a good amount of troops. So that should cause people to think twice about entering any coalitions against us. Can you split y'all off because you're causing yourself attrition? And you getting attrition is not something that I want to deal with. We've apparently take that alone. I did not want to, but okay. Infantry come over here. Cavalry cannon over there. Okay, and let's continue to reinforce. We're gonna run out of manpower this month, but actually we're barely gonna run out. We're actually gonna have a little bit extra, which is good. Um, now, next month, we're not going to have any manpower, but, you know, whatever. Um, 
continue to shift consolidate down because we're going to want to recover manpower as soon as possible. We're also going to want to get more troops as soon as possible if we can afford it. Truth is, we can afford a little bit extra troops. So. And overall, we're not in bad shape. We did weaken Lithuania at the very least, and everyone else is kind of ramshackled war-wise. Um, I want to pay off troops. Um, monetary reforms? No, we're going to take this. I don't want to take the stab hit right now. Nobility, man. you got to be happy enough or lose this so I can raise the diet. So I can't do that because you're going to be pissy and in five years you're going to want to rebel. And I can't afford that. Now, can I take... I don't want to take land because it's going to cause rebellions. Never mind. So can I take any lands away from them so I can go ahead and give it to them? No. Answer is no. Okay. Cavalry and a infantry. So let's send the infantry over to the other stack. You all will replenish. And our army is getting stronger, which is very good. Um, unfortunately, the coalition is looking kind of powerful as well, and we'll only get more powerful over time. Um, could we take a tech? I mean, we could take boat tech, where or tech here, which would be good. Aggressive expansion. Ah, this actually works out well. <clears throat> Number of states is good. More supply limit would be great. Cavalry shock keeps cavalry pretty significant for the rest of the game. Not 100%, but more significant than not. Okay, we are all done with the infantry, and almost done with the cannons. Four cannons, 13, four cannons, 13, let's go over right here. We're going to start recovering manpower. You know, we're going to start actually having positive manpower relatively soon. That'll be very good to have. Um, unfortunately, I might have to leave. Uh, it's going to be real close to time, but... Yeah, I think I can do it. Okay. No, I'm thinking about timing for other stuff right now. Um, something i got to take care of, but it's fine. Yeah, let's do this so that I can pay off the loan. That's a lot of ducats to pay off. Lower army maintenance a bit. I still want reinforcements, but I don't need all of them right now. And more importantly, I don't want to pay that much for reinforcements. Um, let's make sure to shift consolidate to get our troops out, though. Uh, manpower needs to recover. Sure. Now they're going to need a lot more time to recover, though. Suffered casualties, so surprise no one. Yeah, I'm going to have to deal with this freaking morale stuff, but it's fine. It's fine, it's fine. We're not doing too bad. We're not doing too great, but we're not doing too bad. We are recovering, so... Ming's declared war on Uthaya. Ming's kind of like the nation I would love to get on my side right now, so that way I have no coalition issues. Muscovy's not it. Orion might be good, and so would the Timurids. Uh, well, there's a Protestant nation now, so a Protestant empire now. Um, that was one hell of a costly war, but we are... slowly recovering from it. And manpower-wise, thankfully, even though we don't have uh, quantity ideas, it's coming back rather quick. Which is a very good thing. Money-wise, not so much. But it's alright. We're going to recover pretty, pretty fast, I think. 
Um, I need to do this for you, man. But I need to also remove a territory. No, I think it's better we wait to tech up. Alright, well, the coalition hasn't popped yet, which is promising for us. Not very good, but... Um, 61 with some of you, 54 with y'all. 61, 54, 54. Alsis, I could probably... Actually, Alsis, I can get to like me enough that I think they'll leave. Uh, Hesse's kind of pissy. You're kind of pissy. Aachen. No. So I can only get one person to leave. That's not good for me. But thankfully, I don't think anyone else will be able to join. I have peace treaties until eight years from now. You're going down at a rate of... You'll be down 16 points. So no, a lot of you might be able to join. Can I get a statesman to increase that option? Like, to lower that option? I can, or a diplomat, but it costs me from you. Hmm. Okay, that's not good. Well, we'll see what we can do. Um, do I have parish registers? I think I do. Pretty sure I do. We'll get you happy with us. Hey, you. Do you want to be integrated? Not until another 10 years. Let's improve relations. <laughs> 10 years is not bad timing. We are losing money, and we are losing it fast, unfortunately. Um, are we paying for this fort? Mm, yes, we are. Let's mothball it and save ourselves a bit of money. Would be very nice. Should save ourselves about a ducat. Not really, because I guess maintenance is coming back up. We need to take care of these maintenances. Like, seriously. Um, also, maybe this is causing us issues. Yeah, that would do it. Okay. Well, good news is at least we're making manpower again. Funny enough. People like Bohemia, they're not going to like us ever, so I'm not going to worry too much about them. Um, I had to get the military power from the nobility, as much as I hated that. <sighs> Coalition war. Yeah, that's what I wanted to see, right? How's this going? <laughs> We're about <laughs> on par with each other. Okay, well, shit. Uh, let's get our troops together, I guess, and make sure we kill troops. Also, we gotta kill Navy. It's a good thing I didn't mothball the Navy, huh? We caught two lights. Are you kidding me? Well, that's not bad. Okay, so this is Religious War Part 2. This is great. Oh, goodness. Um, sure. We kinda need the points. We kinda don't need the points, but we kinda might need the leaders. The good news is, is at least everyone joined in peacefully. Um, shit. I'm willing to get alone at this point. The levy, at least it gets them happy with us. Which is better than them not being happy with us. Can I peace out these bastards? I'm pretty sure I can. So France, Ottomans, everyone joined. And Austria is, yeah, Coalition War plus 30. Very nice. The good news is Austria is the leader, so they should want out pretty quickly. Um, 
this is show superiority, isn't there? Yes, yeah, so I am actually taking war score as long as no one loses any wars. Battles right now, we should be good. Oh, don't fight those 51, please. Um, hmm. I don't know where I'm supposed to go to not fight those 51. I mean, I guess I can come up to their ter territory, but I have to be able to take territory I can siege. Um... Um, excuse me? Did I become emperor? No, it's still Bavaria. Who's not even a freaking elector. You hate me. Why? Enemies. They're voting in my enemies. Bastards. Um. Six stuck at some month going down the drain. Let them take attrition. If that's what they want to do, dude, let them. Although that is a scary amount of troops coming. I don't want to stick around. Again, if they want to take attrition, though, I am willing to let them. Look at this. 5% freaking attrition issues. Austria, man, you are not that smart. You got 69,000 troops. Yeah, Dan, you're strong. Don't get me wrong. You really are. But how are you going to win if you're taking that much attrition? And look, hey, the Ottomans are attacking you on your territory now. And they will probably continue to. And the good news is we have the naval battle on lockdown. Like, boat-wise, there's no com competition. So, if necessary, we fought back to Scotland and just call it a day. But I should probably actually do this. Let's get some bastards out of this war. Shouldn't be too hard. Hopefully. get there let's drop all of you and then take half of you there half of those there that should allow us to siege this out real quick and then come back let's let them walk around with that 100 freaking stack of troops wherever the hell they're going and take a crap, crap ton of attrition that's what they want to do yes get that fort done go to Westfall and siege that out let's get people out of this damn coalition war um, I can't peace out anyone else. Interesting. Well, that's a shame. But I think they can peace me out, so I gotta be careful. Length of war, 41. Um, war score, coalition war. I just, white peace will do, but... What if you release nations? No, don't do it. You not being allied to Spain really puts a damper in your freaking plans. Now nah, let's just peace them out. I'm, I'm not worried about it. This causes the coalition to collapse, at least for a bit. Um, let's get the troops together, though. And send them to Hamburg, I guess, because these guys want to stack up with me. Like, y'all can go march, dude. I'm not going to have you sit here with me. I appreciate it, but I'm not going to have you do it. 65 are just going to sit in my territory. Let them sit there, guys. Don't worry about it. If they want to take 65 freaking, you know, what's 5% is 65,000, or 85,000 in this case, I guess. Um, just take a stab hit. Whatever. Um, you guys should not be all sitting together. Yeah, let them take the damn attrition. I mean, the Ottoman, the Austrians are idiots. Let them take the attrition. Let the freaking Ottomans come and siege them out where they have the chance. And I see us winning this war pretty easy. Maybe not with 95k, but... Damn, you started losing the war, didn't you? Let's pull back. I don't know why they have 95k together in a stack. I mean, I feel bad doing 40k as it is. But... Oh, but I thought they were going to get to you before you got out, dude. I'm. That's not a battle to reinforce, guys. Like, that's a very bad battle. Do not reinforce that battle. Okay, I guess we're reinforcing this. I really don't want to. 
I really think this is a horrible idea. Okay. Let's do this, though. Let me throw my hat in the freaking ring. Ah, uh, shit. This is not the battle to reinforce. Come on, we need more allies. They outnumber us almost two to one. Where it matters is, can we do damage to them? And I need the rolls to come in my favor. Which, I'm leading the war. Or my leader's leading it. So, we could do this, funny enough. He's a very good leader. I need good rolls. Come on. None of this almost ties or literal ties bullshit. Yeah, I know Thurman gets under their control. Trust me, I know. Come on, dude. We can win this. This is a winnable war. If we're not rolling freaking ones to like their sevens and stuff. I can tech up. Of course I can. Let's do it. This battle's lost because we didn't roll high enough in the beginning parts of the war. And they've been able to reinforce non-stop. Come on, guys. Nope. And I swear to God, they might stack white me there. Let's move north. We can afford to, so... Okay, recover. They have a lot of troops there, that's true. But they're gonna have to deal with the attrition. We're not doing hot, but we can come back from this. Easy. And we're backing out. We're backing out. Fall back. Get out of there. Don't come this way. I mean, actually, this works. If they want to come over here, we can blockade them in. But we need them to come this way. And I can blockade them. And then we throw troops across the strait the other way. But we need them to come this way. Okay. Unfortunately, I'm going to have to go. Man, I did not want to leave the episode like this. I was really worried about the coalition war. And guess what? I was had a good reason to be. Good news is, we can win this war. This war is winnable. It's not going to be easy, but it will be winnable. Um, it's just going to take us a long time to, to get it gone. Um, Austria has to not be making gains. We have to have length of war. That's 50 points right there. If we could somehow hold Wien and get Austria weaker, that would work. Another thing would be weakening them or causing them to sit somewhere where they just take attrition or have to pay money. Come on, break your siege. Demand the Cossacks be brought to justice. Yeah, demand it, because I don't want to take the... No, I'm still going to lose it. Okay. Where we will fail is if they manage to peace out all our allies before we're able to do the same to them. I mean, even then, we might be able to manage it, but it's not going to be pretty. I mean, either way, if this works out not working... We got the fine goose step achievement, which I can appreciate. Okay, let's get some battles going. Let's take care of some of their troops, at least. You know, this will work. If we do this this way, we will just kill off all their troops like we did in the 30 Years War, the Religious League War, that they're just going to have to wait. 
Now I should undo my own provinces, but I need to... Okay, no. You can't be using my territory to do this. But they might come and bother me. Alright guys, unfortunately that's going to be it for this episode. Next episode we're going to have to deal with this succession, or this freaking coalition war. Um, they're heading this way, so I feel confident in getting a little bit of territory gained. Um, the Ottomans really need to step up their game. Like, don't worry about this shit. Worry about Wiener. Like, if we can take Vienna, war is over. Or should be, at least, because it's all Austria in this one, not the other way it was the other one. Um, so thank you very much for watching. Next episode, we're going to try to get... Well, we can't, can't piece anyone out, can we? We're going to have to try and just beat down people. Thank you very much for watching, though. I will see you next time. Goodbye.